Hey, it's Tony Torner with New York Natives, and this is the New York Theater Series. Richard Foreman is one of those legendary avant-garde playwright directors in New York and in the world. I've worked with him a couple of times, and now he's at the public doing his new show, Old Fashioned Prostitutes. Let's check him out. The public has been a sort of a place that you've always kind of come to in addition to the places that you've run before, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, what is, what's your history with this place and how do you, you know, what, what's it like being back here again? My history is with this place is from Joe Papp. When I had done nothing in New York, like two little shows downtown, I did Three Penny Opera for Joe at Lincoln Center. And uh, that was because Stefan Brecht, who... Uh, was not that friendly towards Joe. Joe was always asking to do Three Penny. And finally Stefan said, okay, you can do it if you hire Richard Foreman because he'd seen an off-Broadway show of mine that I'd done. So Joe said, well, who's that? Okay, I'll go see one of his shows. So he came and uh, he said, well, I didn't understand it, but I felt it had heart and that's what counts for me. So we'll give you a chance. What was it like when you were first trying to explore theater in New York and you were coming in, you know, the, the early experiences you had? I mean, I'm 75. I started coming to theater in New York when I was about 15. I used to come in every weekend with my friend John and we would go to all the hits on Broadway. I would go see everything that I could. I remember walking out of all these successful plays and saying to John, John, this is hopeless. How can I... How can I make theater if that's what they want? It was so terrible. I can't fulfill those expectations. Well, I still don't, but somehow I've managed to make theater. In the past, you had worked with great depth of field. Um, you know, uh, and uh, where are you kind of now with what you're interested in in terms of spatial relationships? I always try to respond to the circumstance I'm in, no matter what it is. And at St. Mark's, I didn't have that depth. I thought, no, let's radicalize this. If I can't have depth, let's shove it down the audience's gullet, as it were. I hope it gives the feeling somewhat, sometimes, that they're leaning sort of out over the audience, ready to topple into the audience. Yeah, they do sort of break the frame in that way, which is interesting. You took a couple of years off just purely to do film. Um, was, that, uh, was that a valuable uh, time for you? Oh, I assume it might be the rest of my life. I mean, I'm going to make another play. But, uh, yeah, I worked for like three or four years trying to figure out how the hell to make a film. And I would edit for a year, year and a half. And I made three attempts that way, I believe. And they just didn't work, and I threw them out. And finally, I got a new idea, which was that, well, instead of trying to take out all the bad parts and all the times I was talking to the actor, maybe integrate that material into the film itself. And that was a breakthrough. The working process, of course, is very, very different. You know, there's a certain sense with plays that you were sort of like um, gathering slowly to create this sort of self-replicating process. While the film, you're actually working more piecemeal, creating moments and then saving them. Yeah, but less for me than for other people. In other words, for me, the making of the film was this one and a half to two years editing and changing it and evolving the material on the editing table because I do all the editing. And for me, that's sort of how I rehearse. I have a very long rehearsal period, as you well know, and I am just treating it as if I was editing film. But then at some point, you, after being almost kind of based in uh, Paris for a couple of years, you return to New York. What calls you back to New York? I finally realized that I would never be a Frenchman, that I was an American. I thought all Americans myself included, I must emphasize, were essentially adolescent in their character structure. Me too. And I realized I had to come back to America to be who I was and to fight the battles that I felt had to be fought. Richard, thank you so much.